18 Till I Die, Brian Adams at 99.1 FM, CKXS, your music variety. A couple fellas who are trying to find the fountain of youth in studio here this morning as well. We've got Dave Babbitt and Dan White from our Wallaceburg concert band joining us. Good morning, fellas. Uh, good, good morning, morning. Jay. Uh, getting ready for the holidays, and you guys have got a couple of big shows. Uh, first, I want to start with you, Dave. I, I know uh, the lineage, the history behind this. We've talked about it for years together, but it, it's got to be special because you got a bit of a forced break uh, here once again for the concert band for a couple of years. The band back together once again. Uh, yeah, we, we've titled this concert, We Need a Little Christmas, but I say we need a little Christmas. And I actually change it to, we need a lot of Christmas. Uh, it's just been so long since we've, uh, since we've been able to uh, perform our Christmas shows. That's a really a big part of what we do every year. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's been a part of the Wallaceburg Concert Band's uh, history here. So good to have you guys and girls back doing your thing, doing it so well. Well, Dan White is here as well, stage manager who brings that tuba, the disrespected tuba, I understand. So true. So true. <laughs> Thank you, Jay, for pointing that out. Well earned. Is, is the tuba player like the drummer of uh, the concert band? Is that how it works? Oh, please don't categorize tubas with drummers. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know, how a, you know how you know when a drummer's at your door? How? The knock slows down. Oh, jeez. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> We've got two big concerts for folks to enjoy across Chatham, Kent, these next couple of weekends, Dan. So tell us about what has gotten us to this point in time. Uh, well, we were able to get back together. When was that, Dave? Uh, we s oh, spring. It, it was well, we did spring? March yeah. 11th. March 11th. March 11th, we got back together to do a spring concert, which was later than we usually do. And then for this concert, we started rehearsing second week of September. Yep. Absolutely. Yeah. So start early. Been, <laughs> We've been going for like 13, 14 weeks now. I've been hearing jingle bells since <laughs> early September. <laughs> since age two. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Are you at the point where you despise it now and the holidays aren't quote -o quite here yet or no okay. no I, I love christmas but it's time to per it's time to perform it's time okay. to get this out from underneath our belts because they've worked so hard at this for so long and we'll do that uh, we've got a show for you in wallaceburg this weekend in chatham next weekend dan tell us all about this show coming to sat to wallaceburg on saturday uh so this saturday we have all 60 musicians on the well, on the floor of the gym at wdss and uh, so we'll move everything over from our rehearsal hall to the school, and we will start at 7 o'clock, Dave? In the evening, yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I thought you meant start, start <laughs> If you want to show up at 7 a.m., it'll be really boring, but oh, yeah. well, you got well, a good 12-hour wait. No, but that's um, about when we start moving stuff, though. <laughs> yeah, we start moving everything first thing in the morning, move it over, get it all set up, and then we go from 7 till probably 8.30. Yep, probably about an hour and a half show. Yeah. That's probably an under uh, underappreciated part of your shows that folks don't think of is the actual setup to get everything there in place. 60-plus musicians means 60-plus instruments, everything. Uh, Chairs, yeah. stands, <laughs> percussion. Awesome. Yeah. So uh, that's going to go at WDSS this weekend, this Saturday, 7 o'clock start. It's a free admission, Dave, but you guys are also asking that folks help out locally this holiday season. Absolutely. Every, th every concert we do, we... we it's free admission. We never charge. Uh, people of this community are so supportive in organizations. So we've never, we never ask a nickel to come in here. It's, we just want people bums in the seats. But yes, we're, we'll, we'll collect free will uh, donations for uh, the Christmas drive here in town. Good stuff. And the same will be said for next weekend in Chatham. You guys get a pretty nice venue uh, next weekend, Dan. Oh, are we looking for that? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's our first time actually in a, an actual performance space. So the acoustics will be great, and it's wonderful that we were given the space. <clears throat> you know, yeah, that's next Sunday on the Capitol stage is going to be awesome. Yeah, and it's a different concert, Dave. Absolutely, I, I because I wanted to uh, try and attract our local crowd. <laughs> I got to tell you, initially I was worried that if we're going to get the chat, there's going to be nobody there, right? Because because <laughs> we get such great support here in, in the community and right here in Wallaceburg, but I thought there could be nobody there. But now I'm a little bit more worried that. Like all these people saying, I'm going to Chatham, I'm going to Chatham. And uh, so, yeah, I changed the music up so that the the concerts are a little bit different. To, as, as an, a 
to attract people to both of them, hopefully. Yeah, I'm sure everyone in the band appreciates you making them do double the homework. Yeah. Right. <laughs> uh, so wrong. that'll be uh, Capital Christmas next Sunday, December 11th, the Capital Theater. Is it intimidating uh, for you, Dave, and for the crew to, to play a venue like that? No, it's, it's absolutely exciting uh, because, as Dan sort of alluded to, we've never had the opportunity to play in a real theater with great acoustics. We don't have to set up and tear down 600 chairs wow. either. <laughs> <laughs> which is and, and the stage will actually accommodate the whole the entire band i mean there's no stage in wellsburg that we can play on so that's why you have to play on the floor at the gym at wd and uh, yeah it's going to be uh, just a marvelous marvelous show we're going to actually open it with the brass factory big band which is uh, an additional uh, uh thing and i always love that because that's when i get to play i don't normally i don't play with the concert band i'm conducting <laughs> but uh with the brass factory i get to play so there's some really good swing and rock and tunes for Christmas with the big band. I love it. Uh, the Brass Factory Big Band and the Wallaceburg Concert Band, that one goes next Sunday, December 11th, the Capitol Theater stage. That's going to be a tremendous experience for those in the seats and a tremendous experience uh, for those band members as well. It, too, is free entry with free will donations being directed uh, to our local Christmas drives. If folks want to find more info on the concert band, guys, or their you're piquing their interest. Uh, they want to join the crew maybe uh, in future years, get practicing alongside you. How can they uh, get in touch and find more info? Well, we certainly have wellsburg.concertband.ca. Uh, we have a great website that our, um, that Sonia Lozon looks after for us. And we also have uh, an active Facebook page that uh, um, we're always putting, or I'm always putting material on and to keep people up to date on what we're doing. Good stuff. That's wallaceburgconcertband.ca. We need a little Christmas, a lot of Christmas, as Mr. Babbitt tells us. And the Wallaceburg Concert Band will supply just that. Again, in Wallaceburg this Saturday, WDSS, 7 p.m. In Chatham at the Capitol next Sunday, a 3 p.m. matinee. All those details, again, at wallaceburgconcertband.ca. Gentlemen, thank you very much. All the thank best. Thank you for having thank us. Thank you.